Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Short video today, I just wanted to share something with you guys that I feel really silly about not doing a long time ago. This is something that I've known about for a long time and I feel like I should have done this like a year ago, a year and a half ago, a couple of years ago. But for whatever reason, I just thought the way that I was doing it was fine and after I made the change, I realized that the old way was nonsense and this is much better. Anyway, so let me show you guys what I did. So as you guys know from the thumbnail and from the title of this video, I'm talking about aquarium lids. Now there are many reasons why you want to have lids on your aquarium and a lot of it has to do with uh, making sure that the fish don't jump out, making sure that things don't go into the tank like other animals, cats, things that could fall in. Uh, people sticking their hand in, kids, etc. cetera. Um, and it could also be to retain heat. If you do have a heater in an aquarium, it is much easier to maintain the temperature of that tank by having a lid on. And then there are other things like evaporation and stuff like that. So overall, for the most part, having a lid on an aquarium is very beneficial. Now I have lids on most of my tanks. I do have a couple of tanks without lids and there are reasons why I do that. But for the most part, my tanks have lids. Now down here in my fish room, I do not heat my tanks individually, I heat the entire room. So um, retaining heat is not so much of an issue, but uh, other the other reasons that I stated are important. So, you know, maintaining, um, you know, the level of the tank and not having less evaporation is important, making sure that the fish jump, don't jump out is important. So anyway, I was using another kind of uh, lid before. Let me go ahead and set my camera down real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys what I was doing and what I've done. So down here in the fish room, as I shared, I've got a lot of tanks down here and uh, I do heat the room. Now, I was using, now some of the tanks that I have came with lids. So like the 125 has glass lids. My um, uh, Indian Mudskipper tank came with a glass lid. My tanks in my dis in upstairs um, in my living room, my display tanks have lids. But a lot of these tanks were just empty, kind of bare, 75 gallon, 40 gallon, et cetera, tanks that didn't come with lids, I didn't have lids, so I had to come up with my own system. But what I was originally doing is I was using these um, vinyl uh, corrugated um, panels that you can use for like siding, for like a greenhouse and things like that, like or roofing, I guess it would be. Um, they are okay, they're easy to cut, they're pretty flexible, pliable, um, and you can just kind of cut it and stick it on top of a tank. The problem is is that it doesn't fit in the kind of the groove or the inside lip of the tank. It just kind of rests on top. So there still is like a little bit of a gap where a fish could potentially get out. And then also you have, you know, additional evaporation and stuff like that that can happen. And then it just doesn't look very good. I kind of want to make my fish room look a lot better. I want it to be more aesthetically pleasing for myself and for all of you as well and we'll talk about that in a moment. So anyway, um, what I did is I decided to go and do the DIY uh, aquarium lid project that I know many other fish YouTubers have done before. I've seen Corey from Aquarium Co-op do it, I've seen Bob Steenfot do it, and I'm sure many others do uh, this very same thing. And basically what I did is I got that greenhouse paneling that's double walled and um, this is what it looks like. I will put a uh, picture of it right up here so that you can see what it looks like and um, and you can see how much it costs. It was a 24 by 96, so two feet by eight feet panel. And uh, it's like $38 at Home Depot. And I'm sure uh, I, got, I looked on Amazon, it was kind of the same price. And maybe if you went to Lowe's, it'd be pretty similar. So about 38, 35 to $40 for a panel. That's uh, basically two feet by eight feet. And uh, I bought three of them and I was able to make 16 lids for various tanks from five gallons to 75 gallons and everything in between. Very, very easy to use. Um, I ended up using a table saw to cut it um, just because I wanted to, I was making a lot of them and I wanted to have very precise cuts. Um, I did do a little bit of trimming with a with some shears and I also experimented by using like a, uh, like a utility knife. Um, that could be done if you like scored it on both sides and then kind of bent it and snapped it. So if you're making like a small one, I would say that would be fine but uh, definitely if you're making a bunch of them or larger ones that you're gonna want like a, a table saw or something that's gonna allow you to make large cuts. But anyway, very durable and very insulating. So it does have a lot of insulating properties because it is double walled. So you have these channels that run in between. And so there's air 
and uh, anytime that you're trapping air between two surfaces, that's essentially working like an insulator, like bubble wrap as an example. So it does very well in retaining heat. Um, I noticed this because upstairs in my office, I did put it on one of my tanks that does run a heater in the tank. And I noticed that it was uh, very, very effective in retaining the heat. So very happy with that. Very easy to customize, cut out little notches for like things that drop into the tank, whether it's a, you know, an airline or, you know, a power cord or whatever it is, you can very easily notch these. And what you want to do is you want to cut these to where they fit inside the inside groove of the tank. So you just have to me measure the inside uh, measurements of where the uh, rim is and just make sure that you measure twice and cut once and then you can pop it right in. I would say to make sure that you go a little bit on the large size so if you do need to make a cut, you're cutting down more and not having to wish you could add material. And then you can very easily trim it by hand. I just use some, some shears that I use um, and it was very easy to trim. So anyway, nothing special. I did add these little hooks on there. These are like those uh, 3M hooks or whatever that you would like hang your stockings at Christmas time or hanging pictures and stuff like that. I just got these little clear ones. They're probably not gonna show up on camera, but maybe if I hide my face, maybe not. But anyway, um, and then I just put that little 3M pull tab or whatever, but so they're very, very stuck on there. So um, I can just use that as like a little handle to just lift up when I wanna feed my fish. But uh, anyway, nothing, you know, earth shattering. I know there's been other videos about this, but I was, thinking that you know using these would be okay and these are okay for like large stuff so like i would put this outside on the pond i would put this on like a really large tank if i had like a like a 2000 gallon tank like joey uses where he uses these kind of lids um king of diy that would make sense um, but for smaller tanks 40 breeders 75 gallon tanks even like a 125 because it's sectioned off this is going to be great. It is relatively inexpensive. It's very durable. Um, it's nice and flush. You can rest lights on top, etc., and uh, you can make it fit inside the tank. So um, anyway, again, I will, uh, well, I, I think I already put the picture up there, but I'll put it up there again so that you guys can see what it is. Um, so if you do uh, happen to be in the market for an aquarium lid for your tank that you bought at the gallon, you know, dollar per gallon sale or something like that, and there's no lid, Go to your hardware store and uh, get some of this uh, paneling and it should work out just fine. Before I go, I did want to mention that I mentioned earlier about wanting to uh, make this fish room more aesthetically pleasing. I've gotten a lot of comments about like my walls are too silver. Let me grab this here. So I've gotten like question, like comments about it looks like a refrigerator in here and um, maybe the sound is not so great and you know the lighting's kind of like I got like weird lighting like if you look right here um this is like uh like a work light you know like you would just buy it comes with like a little clamp and you buy them for like five dollars at the hardware store and i just took off the clamp and i hung it so it's like a little pendant light but for some people it looks a little hokey so um we're gonna make some changes down here i can't tell you what's going on i can't tell you any details other than i'm very excited i've been excited for a couple of weeks now there's a bunch of products like so much stuff sitting in my garage right now that uh, is going to be going in this fish room. So in the next couple of weeks, uh, we will have some updates there. So definitely you'll want to come back and check that out. So anyway, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to go to my website, tozawatanks.com and get your Tozawa Tanks t-shirt. And uh, anyway, catch you on the next one.